Hello and welcome to the Casual Armory. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about an old fun little revolver. Model 1895 Russian Nagant revolver. This one was produced in 1936 at the Tula factory. It's a pretty nice little revolver and it's fun to shoot out at the range. But one of the drawbacks to this is ammo is getting very difficult to find for these pistols. And they are, are getting very expensive. I just saw listings on Gunbroker for 80 cents a round for this little revolver. Now this shoots a 762 by 38 rimmed cartridge. And the bullet is recessed into the case completely. So, I started making my own ammunition for it. So, let me show you how I do it. So, first thing we do whenever we start to reload is we need a good reference material. So, I found that Cartridges of the World 6th Edition does have the Nagant Revolver cartridge in it. Here it is. 7.62 Russian Nagant revolver, and it gives us some basic information. But one of the things I found interesting is right here bullet diameter is 295 of an inch. Now that seems very, very small to me. So what I did was I bore slugged. The bore of the revolver, and sure enough, the revolver is 312. And that tells me that these bullets were not doing the right thing in the gun. So, let's move on to the components. So, a few years ago, I had the opportunity to buy a thousand pieces of once fired PPU brass for the Nagant revolver, and I paid a hundred dollars for a thousand pieces. So, I think that's a pretty good buy. But one thing I noticed, and I think it's because of the way the bullets are seated all the way inside the case, and the case being crimped over the bullet, I noticed a lot of them had split necks. So, with that in mind, here's what we came up with. We came up with using a 30 carbine trimming die and trim the case down to 30 carbine length and then using our cbs shell holder number 19 we size it with the 30 carbine dies and it actually sizes out perfect for the little revolver so let's look at the available bullets So, I made up some dummy rounds. These are unprimed dummy rounds. And the two hollow points are actually 32 caliber uh, bullets measuring uh, 312 diameter. And they bulged the case just a little bit. I think this is one. Yeah, you can see that. So, it's just just a little bit too big for the sizing of the case and they do not seat in the revolver so going with a 312 bullet in the brass does not fit in the cylinder of the revolver so we'll just slide these out of the way so, the next thing I found was just a regular 30 carbine uh, projectile. And this is a dummy round that I made for mock-up. So, this fits the cylinder absolutely perfectly. And let's check this out. The bullets we've got... They are actually surplus uh, 85 grain 
Uh, jacketed lead bullets for 30 carbine. You know, like everything else, I actually found a company years ago that was selling these by weight. And I bought who knows how many 30 carbine, because I also reload 30 carbine. Um, so I bought a lot of bullets by weight. And they were very inexpensive. So, let's see how all this goes together. Now, you can see, fits in the cylinder just perfectly. And that is fantastic. Now, obviously, you lose the gas seal, but people have been using 32 Smith & Wesson Long, which is another cartridge that's getting very, very difficult to find nowadays. So, they weren't getting gas seal either. I think this is a really good answer. So... All right, with all that in mind, here's what I made. Now, it's a 30 carbine bullet. I did very lightly crimp just the end of the case over just a little bit. And this is PPU 762 Nagant Brass, trimmed down to 30 carbine length. Sized with 30 carbine dies and with a 30 carbine bullet. Yeah. Bullet is 308 and the barrel is 312. So there's a little bit of discrepancy there, but I think it works just fine. So here we are. We're going to package this up. And take it to the range and use the chronograph to see how the bullets do and with trimming the cases i think the cases will last a good long time i don't think we'll have any problems with splits in the cases anymore and being there's such low pressure i think they'll last a good long time many reloads so we'll take this out to the range in a future video and Hopefully we'll see what these little revolvers do. I'll see you next time.